Now, former Liberian President Amos Sawyer has died at the age of 76. Sawyer, who walked as an academic and a politician, was voted as interim president alongside Bishop Roland Diggs as vice president to establish a government for Liberia following the abduction and eventual murder of then President Samuel Doe. News Central's Bernard Akede tells us more about his life and times. Amos Claudius Sawyer was born in 1945 to Abel and Sarah Sawyer. The Sawyers were a prominent family in Sino County with three African-American ancestors who came as colonists to what was called Maryland in Africa, founded by the Maryland Colonization Society. Sawyer was educated in local schools and was a 1966 graduate of Liberia College, now the University of Liberia. He traveled to the United States for graduate work, earning MA and PhD degrees in political science from Northwestern University in metropolitan Chicago, Illinois. After his return, Dr. Sawyer worked as an academic, but also became an activist and a politician. He was an acting member of the Movement for Justice in Africa, MOJA, and in 1983 founded the Liberia People's Party. In late August 1990, an emergency conference was held in the Gambia by a delegation of 35 Liberians representing seven political parties and 11 interest groups. They voted Sawyer as interim president and Bishop Ronald Diggs as vice president to establish a government. In 1994, Sawyer was forced to step down as a part of the peace process and subsequently the role of official leader of Liberia was held not by the president but by the chairman of the Council of State. Sawyer was chairman of the Governance Reform Commission in Liberia, which has recently become the Governance Commission. He supported Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in the October 2005 and 2011 elections. Sawyer was awarded the Goosey Peace Prize in 2011. Amos Claudius Sawyer died at the John Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland on 16 February 2022 at the age of 76.